Hello, and welcome to week three, unit six of this Open SAP course on system conversion to SAP S4HANA. My name is Ivan Ramirez. I am SAP S4HANA product expert in the regional implementation group and senior business process consultant, and I'll be your host for the following unit. In this unit, we will take a look at the essential changes in settlement management. The rebate processing solution in the past was limited by the technology used. The rebate processing solution presented inflexible business volume determinations due to constant updated of aggregates, statistics, and other form of redundant data structures. The limitation and complexity of the subsequent settlement scenarios with only fixed account assignment was a challenge. Also, its limitation on pricing, manual statements, no APIs, no exclusive functions and other missing functions were a constraint on innovative subsequent settlement scenarios and business growth. Condition contract management is the solution for subsequent settlement scenarios in SAP S4HANA. It's designated for high performance delegating functions to HANA. It's a base to model new and innovative subsequent settlement scenarios. It's flexible and state-of-the-art due to open architecture. It's architected to benefit from SAP HANA. Use central contract administration as single point of entry for contract data and contract-related conditions for full support of business volume-related scenarios. Calendar-based settlement accrual conditions that can be defined independent from the settlement conditions and intuitive data entry of settlement information with full transparency of involved documents. In settlement management, you can find customization options to specify split criteria on header level leading to separate the settlement documents for different values, and split criteria on item level leading to separate items in the settlement documents. Achieve a detailed settlement overview on complex settlement scenarios, as such ALB and graphical view, into settlement documents and, in, and its FI status, and get insight if contract condition was determined and accrual were posted. The contract condition settlement architecture allows to have a flexible and adjustable process overcoming the limitation of the past. Subsequent settlement scenarios are rich on pricing functions and allow flexibility on business process definition through customizing. There is no adjustment necessary on procure to pay in order to cash scenarios. Condition contract settlement used in-memory technology to allow flexible business volume sources with no aggregates, statistics, or indices, delegating calculation to the HANA database. The configuration of condition contract settlement comprises three main steps. First, configure condition contract conditions. In this step, you define pricing conditions that are relevant for the calculation of the settlement amount during the condition contract settlement. In addition, you must define other pricing conditions for the correct condition contract settlement. Then, you should configure condition contract maintenance. In this step, you first define and configure parameters for condition contract types and then the condition contract types th themselves. Last, configure condition contract settlement. In this step, you first define and configure parameters for condition contract settlement, which you then enhance with existing condition contract types with these parameters. As a result, you will have made the required customizing settings to manage the process in condition contract management. For condition settlement management basic configuration guide and basic process description, please refer to the documents attached to the SAP note 248172. Settlement management can be accessed through the Fiori Launchpad in S4HANA. Here, you will find the different apps for contract processing, contract monitoring, and settlement process for customer and supplier as well. The Fiori Launchpad will let you have a centralized entry point and use interface for the different roles involved in settlement management. The app Maintain Contracts is a single point of entry for contracts data and contract-related conditions. In the condition contract, you specify, for example, administrative data, the contract conditions, eligible partners, cr criteria for the business volume sele selections, and settlement calendar data. 
This app allows a flexible definition of business volume base and selection criteria, intuitive data entry, and settlement information. There is a possibility to define accrual conditions independently from settlement condition, calendar-based settlements, which multiple settlement types simulation of settlement run and detailed settlement overview. Business volume base can be defined without limitations. Field selection and field combinations can be defined without restrictions for business volume determination. Supports inclusive and exclusive functionality. The source of business volume is defined in customizing. Business volume determination is independent from condition record. Supports different data sources as well as multiple data sources to enable the user to implement different scenarios. So condition required subsequent settlement are generally settled at different times according to the agreement with the business partners. You can define settlement dates in the contract in a settlement calendar. In addition to the settlement date, you also specify which settlement type is to be used. In partial settlement, the conditions, the conditions of a condition contract are provisionally settled for a specific time period in the, in the entire duration of a condition contract. A distinction is made here between a normal partial settlement and a cumulative partial settlement. In a cumulative partial settlement, the sales and revenues from previous time periods that have already been settled are rolled up. This means, for example, that better condition values associated with the scale levels can be used earlier in the condition contract settlement. Normally, you settle the partial settlements for a final time with a final settlement. A final settlement permanently, permanently settles a specific time period in the entire duration of the condition contract. The start of the time period is either the validity start date of the condition contract or the date of the last final settlement. The end of the, time of the time period is the current final settlement date or the validity end date of the condition contract. The settlement of a condition contract can contain several final settlements. All the values of a time interval that were previously partially settled are settled in a final settlement. Unlike partial settlements, final settlements are not settled in later partial or final settlements. It is still possible, however, to correct final settlements using a delta settlement. Subsequent corrections or late posting can alter the business volume base of a time interval for which there is already final settlement. You can now use a detailed settlement to settle these subsequent changes and to correct the final settlement for the time interval. You can also repeat delta settlements. Previous delta settlements are then also taken into consideration. You can define the delta settlements in the contract settlement calendar ahead of time. One of more or more delta settlements are permitted. For example, you can have a final settlement on December 31st and then a delta settlement on January 15 and January 31st of the following year. Delta accrual settlement type can be used to make corrections to accruals that are required because the condition data has changed. It does not matter whether accruals already existed when the service, when the service was provided. Existing accruals are automatically automatically clear. You can use this form of settlement periodically, schedule the posting of accruals, and you do not have to use the business volume related documents posting for this. It is not possible to use delta accruals to change the moving average price. The moving average price can be adjusted only as a part of the stock posting. However, is it possible to post accruals to GL accounts in order to map the rebate claim in FI? Let's see other useful apps for condition contract management. Display settlement calendar lets you display the status of the settlement calendar by condition contract. Additionally, you can easily navigate to corresponding settlement documents or condition contracts. The app display list of condition contracts shows a list of condition contracts according to specified selection criteria. With the app display condition overview, all condition records for a specified condition contract or for a list of condition contracts are displayed. With the app display business volume, you will be able to monitor the business volume for each contract. Its key features are multiplex selection parameters, for example, by supplier or customer, contract, company code, and settlement date. And options on output level by settlement date, by settlement date and split criteria, or by single record. In this example, the same information 
of business volume is displayed by single record. With settlement condition contract up, you perform settlement for condition contracts to create corresponding amounts receivable and payable in financial accounting for the relevant business partners. You can perform partial settlements, final settlements, delta settlements, and delta accrual settlement. Detailed settlement, settlement results can be pre-checked or simulated via simulation run. With Display Settlement Document app, you can display all the details of a settlement document. Additionally, you can easily navigate between the document flow and condition contract details. These are five functional benefits of using condition contract settlement by settlement management. Settlement management, it is already available in SAP Business Suite Enhancement Package uh, 7. You can already start switching to CCS before your S4 HANA conversion. It has no additional license, license fee and is fully integrated to all logistic and financial processes. Condition contracts can be used for standard maintenance of condition records, even, even if you don't use CCS settlement scenarios. Is delivered with SAP S4 HANA with pre-configured customizing. It offers more capabilities to map various subsequent settlement scenarios. Condition contract settlement by settlement management is the solution for subsequent settlement scenarios in SAP S4 HANA and SAP S4 HANA Cloud. It's designed for high performance. Enables to model new and innovative subsequent settlement scenarios. It's flexible and state-of-the-art, and it's architected to benefit from SAP HANA. Use the following SAP notes for your system conversion using rebates. Refer to SAP note 2200691 to review the simplifications made in S4 HANA on SD rebates. With SAP S4 HANA, data is no longer written on the index table VBOX. Instead of accessing this table, the standard SAP programs run a dynamic access to the application tables to determine the relevant billing documents. Therefore, it's necessary to have relevant business function always on and check your custom code to correct according to the simplification. SAP notes 2226380 and 2267377 refer to the deprecation of the SD rebate processing and its replacement by settlement management. Transactions for creation and extension of SD rebate agreements are no longer available. Existing rebate agreements can only be processed up until the end of the validity date of the agreement and must then be closed by a final settlement. New agreements can only be created based on condition contracts. For vendor rebate agreement, the subsequent settlement application is replaced by the new contract settlement application. For this reason, the functional scope of subsequent settlement has been restricted. That is, in SAP S4 HANA, it is no longer possible to create new rebate agreements using transaction MEBI or extend existing rebate agreements using transactions MEBV, MEB7, or MEBH. However, there is one exception for the deprecation of SD rebate processing. That is, customers using CRM trade promotion management with S4 HANA need to use SD rebate processing. Please refer to SAP note 2267344 for simplification on the database footprints and required and recommended actions for customers using CRM TPM with S4 HANA. SAP offers a service for accelerated implementation of a condition contract management. This service supports all types of settlement processes, such as rebate settlement. The service enables to model new and innovative subsequent settlement scenarios and enable future-proof process as this is already the standard in S4 HANA. The delivery approach and scope includes program to migrate MM or SD agreements to condition contracts, a concept workshop covering data requirements and solution, Pre-configured customizing will be delivered with the service to support direct utilization. A knowledge transfer session to IT and user will be included. The value and benefits of this service are support all document types in ERP, such as purchase orders, invoice, goods receipt, point of sale data, shipping, and agency documents. There is no restriction or limitation to business 
uh, to current business processes. Improve user experience and data quality through harmonization and consolidation. This concludes Unit 6 and brings us to the end of this week. In the next week, we will, take, we will talk about technical topics and project management. Thank you for your attention and I wish you good luck with your weekly assignment. Stay tuned for the next weeks and bye-bye.